All right, hello doers. Now, sometimes producing a product leads to the creation of other products as part of the manufacturing process. Now, these are known as byproducts, and they can be sold, they can be recycled, or they could also be considered waste. Now, in any case, byproducts will share part of the main product's cost of production. Now, there can also be more than one byproduct in a bill of materials, or bomb, as I like to call it. Now, this can be useful, especially when you want to set up your BOM to produce several products at once. Now, I'm feeling pretty hyped up about this. Let me show you some byproducts and let's demonstrate how to set up byproducts in Odoo with a simple example product that I already have configured, the small tabletop. All right, Odooers. Now, the very first thing we need to do is actually configuration. So first, we actually need to activate the byproducts option in the manufacturing application by going over here into configuration settings and you guessed it oh doers we're checking that byproducts little box right there now next we'll make sure the example product is configured correctly so we're actually going to go back over here to products products and we're going to click over here to our small tabletop as i told you before now for the final product the small tabletop the manufacturer route should be enabled under the inventory tab. So we're gonna make sure that's there. Now, for our component, which is over here as the wood panel, we need to have a cost set right here to ensure accurate cost analysis reporting for the production process. If you don't do that, you won't actually know how much stuff costs and that's kind of bad. And then as you can see here, finally, we have the option to set a sales price for wood waste if we want to resell it, because you should really try to fully optimize yourself here, oh doers. Now, once we're done there, we also want to confirm that work center costs have been configured, just as this is another thing that you want to keep track of. It's just another value that gets taken into account for the cost analysis. So to do so, it's over here in configuration and work centers. Now, as you can see here, the cost per hour, in this case for both work centers, is set at $40. Now, this is the set amount it costs to operate the work center for a single hour. If we want to change this figure, we can actually click on the column or click into the specific work center directly to edit it. Now, if you do that, by the way, though, this will affect cost analysis for the work center. So be your, you know, be, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I was going to say, be aware. I was going to say, beware, be aware of that. When you put in any changes hero doers. Now let's very quickly review one final thing over here. Let's review the actual bill of materials for our small tabletop. So we go into products, bill of materials, small tabletop. We're already there. Now this small tabletop requires a single component. The wood panel and two operations so we're actually going to click into the operations you cut and you assemble we anticipate and expect it to take 10 minutes per operation because we're just that darn efficient here now under the byproducts tab we can actually designate how much byproduct we expect to generate in this case we anticipate three units of wood waste and those are very accurate sciencing numbers for us now you can set the weight for one unit of wood waste on its product page. We have it set to one kilogram per unit. Now, in addition, we can also identify which operation will generate the actual byproduct here. In this case, it will be the cut operation because cutting stuff gives you waste. Now, as you notice, we also need to input a cost share, which is the percentage of the total manufacturing cost attributed to producing the byproduct itself. It's a lot of stuff to keep track of, oh doers, so I hope you are pausing and playing. Now, as you'll notice, if you think of byproducts cost share this way, we use, you know, different things. So in our case, we use component A to produce component B, and then we end up with byproduct C. Even though C is only a byproduct and not the desired result of production, it still cost us some amount of money to produce because it's involved in this ABC. Now, as you'll notice, Odoo actually tracks this so that we can understand what percentage of our production costs are attributed to producing these byproducts. Now, if cost share is not visible under the byproducts tab, 
They can actually be added by clicking over here on the settings icon for the table. And you'll notice it there. And then that's how you get it to pop up. Now we have it set to be 10% of the total manufacturing costs, including operational and component costs as well. I want to make a note that you can actually set a different byproduct cost shares for specific manufacturing orders from the byproducts tab within the actual order. You don't actually have to go anywhere else, so doers. I'm telling you, that's very useful. Now, with all of our values and settings configured for the byproduct, the BOM or BOMS overview that we have, it now gives us a nice comprehensive breakdown of the productions and the products cost itself. Now, if we expand this over there. Now, let's walk through the actual manufacturing process to see exactly how byproducts are generated. So we're going to go over here to operations, manufacturing orders. And what are we going to do with doers? We're going to create one. Now, in our case, we're going to make one of our very famous small tabletops. We're going to save. And then what do you do with doers? You confirm. All right. Now that we have that, what was the next step that I said? This is a two-step process, so do or so pay attention. We are actually going to get started on the cut operations. So we're going to click on the work orders tab. Now we'll start this work order from the tablet view, just like we would on the assembly line. So if we click over to the tablet icon, there we have it. Now I'm going to double check that I'm making one small tabletop. And there we have it. Ooh. This is working really nice, and that always makes me very happy, Odoers. Now, I can also set the number of byproducts generated when I perform this operation. Now, we'll leave it at the default number of three that we set earlier, just so that we don't change anything on the actual small tabletop BOM. Do you prefer BOM or BOM? I'm not really sure. All right, now with the cut operation complete, because our workers are quite fast, I will validate and then mark this work order as done. Now, when we head back over to the manufacturing order, using our nice little breadcrumbs over here, we can see that one wood panel has been consumed. And if we click the byproducts tab, beautiful little doers, we have those three wood waste. I've never been this excited for waste. Now, next, let's head to the work orders page. In our case, so over here in operations, work orders. And that's just so that we can check on the second, uh, second step of doers. Now here we see that assemble is the next operation I need to do for the manufacturing order. Now, for demonstration purposes, in this case, I'm gonna quickly complete the operation without going into the tablet view by actually clicking on start and then done. That is not the normal way for this. Now we're actually going to head back to the manufacturing order, you know, using operations, manufacturing orders, and there we are. Now, for the sake of having clean reporting, I'm going to quickly change the work order's real durations to match their expected durations, just to make cost analysis easier for this situation. So in order to do that, we change the real duration to 10 minutes. Now, after I mark the manufacturing order as done, a cost analysis smart button appears, and we're just going to click it. Now, this gives us a detailed cost breakdown that is specific to this small tabletop that we just manufactured. Hopefully, it's not too expensive for us. Now, if we scroll down, you can also see the byproduct cost is calculated precisely according to what the cost share percentage that I talked about earlier. And that is always going to be detailed in this bomb. Now here we can see the cost break, well, actually, we can actually see the full cost broken down by components, operations, and the average total cost of the byproduct. We're not limited to one view, and that's why I was caught off guard. And lastly, when we view our products over here in products and products, we'll see that we've increased the stock of small tabletops and wood waste, and that we consumed a wood panel. Ah. And it did all of that on its own. I didn't have to do any manual clicking. And honestly, there you have it, Odoers. Another short one today, and that's good. Now, using Odoo, it's easy to configure and manage the byproducts that are created by your manufacturing operations. Now, thank you for always watching. And be sure to check out the other videos on our channel to learn more about manufacturing and everything else you can do in Odoo. So bye-bye, bro-doers.